Hi, my name's Kira from Kira's Home Yoga, and this is Yoga When Feeling Unwell. I had a different video planned for today, Yoga for Courage, but I woke up feeling a little bit off. So I decided to share what works for me when I'm feeling unwell. My own yoga teacher used to tell us that we don't skip our yoga practice when we're injured or unwell. We modify, we modify it to suit ourselves. So today's practice is uh, mostly a breathing practice and we'll just move our spine so we're not gonna stiffen up completely. Let's get started. We'll start seated today, sitting cross-legged on our mat. And as always, you can sit on a cushion or a bolster under your bum if that feels better for you. From our seated, comfortable position, we bring our shoulders back and down. We'll inhale our arms up, look up. Exhale, we'll twist to the left, looking over our left shoulder. Inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale, we'll twist to the right, looking over our right shoulder. Shoulders remain down. And again, we'll repeat this a few times, moving with our breath and move at your own pace here. Close your eyes if that feels good. Last one. And release. We'll inhale our left hand to the ceiling. Exhale, we'll stretch to the right, dropping our lower shoulder down away from our ear. Inhale, flow to the other side. Exhale, we'll feel into the stretch, dropping our lower shoulder. And we'll repeat this again, moving with our breath. Last one. And release. I'm gonna turn now so you can see me in profile. And we'll stay sitting cross-legged. And we're gonna bring our arms to a W shape. So just further down than a cactus, cactus arms. So we'll inhale, arms to W, look up, arching our back. Exhale. We'll round in her spine, bringing her chin to her chest and squeezing her navel to her spine. And again, inhale, arching her back, look up. Exhale, rounding in her spine, pushing our arms out and moving at your own pace as we move with our breath again. Option here to hold on to your knees if that feels good. So inhale, we're opening our chest, looking up. Exhale, holding on to our knees and leaning back. One more time. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat pose. Squeezing our navel to our spine. And release. We'll make our way to tabletop now with our hands under our shoulders and our knees under our hips. And we'll do some hip circles here, bringing our hips over to the right side of our mat and forward, left side of our mat and back. And two more. And we'll breathe deeply as we do this.
change direction. Three circles at this side. Check in with her belly and feel it rise and fall with every breath. And release. We'll drop our elbows now in the exact position our hands were in. We'll clasp our hands together. We'll walk our knees back an inch or two and we'll come into puppy pose, drawing our forehead to the mat or our chin to the mat. Whatever works, feel, whatever feels better for you. And we'll breathe deeply here. Breathing like we did at the first few stretches when we're moving with our breath. Breathing through our nose and breathing into our belly. And we'll focus on elongating our exhales to activate our parasympathetic nervous system so that we we'll feel better sooner. If this stretch feels too much, you can come into child's pose. Bringing our attention to our breath. And release. We'll come back up to tabletop. Walk our knees back again. And we'll roll down onto our bellies. Belly. <laughs> our hands under our shoulders. And we'll do some cobras here. We'll inhale up to cobra, elbows in tight into our belly. Exhale, lower back down. And again, we'll do two more, more of these. Inhale up to cobra. Exhale, lower back down. Last one. Cobra is the exact opposite of sitting. So it's great to do even three of those when we're not feeling well. It's great for a spine. We'll do broken wing pose now. So we'll extend our left hand on our mat, bring our right hand under our shoulder, and we'll push into our right hand to come over onto our spine. Top shoulder remains back and down. So we have a few options here. Um, well, as we're not feeling well, I'm going to bring my head to my mat, mat and just rest it like that. And you can stack your feet or you can place your top foot behind your knee. Whatever feels more comfortable for you. We definitely don't want discomfort in today's practice when we're not feeling well. We just want to nourish ourselves. And we'll breathe deeply here. And release. We'll repeat the same on the other side. Extending our right hand, right arm onto our mat, uh, left hand under our shoulder, pushing into our left hand, coming over, coming up onto our side. Head resting on our mat, top shoulder back and down, feet stacked, or you can bring your top leg, top foot behind your knee, whatever feels more comfortable. And we'll breathe deeply here. Long, deep inhales and long, slow exhales. And release. 
Coming back up to tabletop again. We'll cross our legs behind us and we'll come to a lying down on our mat, whatever way works best for you. Taking it easy today. We'll hug our right knee into our chest, extending our left leg if that feels good. And we just move our knee around in this location. Moving it over to our armpit, into our chest. And release, other side. Left knee into her chest, extending her right leg if that feels good, or you can leave your right leg, right foot on your mat. And we're gonna move our knee around in this direction, bringing it over in front of her chest and over to her left armpit. Continuing to breathe deeply. And release. We'll bring both uh, feet be behind our bum um, and open our feet as wide as the mat. We're just going to do some windscreen wipers here. Dropping our knees to the right and then the left and again. Closing our eyes. Bringing our attention to our breath, focusing on breathing into our belly and elongating our exhales. And release. We'll roll our knees to one side and push ourselves back up to sitting. I hope you enjoyed today's practice and you'll join me again please subscribe to my channel. I have lots of uh, yoga videos to check out. Yoga for bedtime, yoga for anxiety, lots of 10 minute yoga stretches. And um, coming next week, yoga for, what was it again? Courage. <laughs> um, thank you for practicing with me today. And I hope that we'll all feel better soon. Take care and bye.